Okay, so now that we're able to connect to our Node.js server, let's see how we can send messages across to different clients which are connected, okay? So head over to your text editor here and inside of main.js and in there, let's um, do some event handlers there for when the form is submitted, okay? The first thing that we need to do is let's catch the um, chat form. So let's do chat form equals to dollar sign and the chat form has an ID of um, Sorry, a class of chat form so we're gonna do chat form and um, let's see let's just make sure that that's the class that it has so of course it has a class of chat form so next let's just um, pass the fields inside the chat form so let's say message field equal to chat form dot find and that has an ID of message field as said here message field so that's why we're finding it inside the chat form and finally let's um, get the messages list so let's say messages list equals to dollar and um, that has a class of uh, messages list as it says here this is what we're caching now okay so next let's add an event handler on the chat form so let's say anytime that the chat form is submitted that we want to run um, this function so let's say chat form dot on submit we want to run this function and the function inside of it what we're going to do first we need to make sure that the default action does not run that the chat form does not actually submit to a url so we say e dot prevent default okay and that has to be a capital d here and next let's get the message from the chat form um, so we're gonna say var message equal to message field dot val okay since the message field is a text area here we can just call val on it to get the value that has been typed so let's say messages list dot append so after we've sent the message uh, we're going to append it to the list of messages here so let's say message list dot append i lie and uh, we're going to get message and then i just close the li tag okay and finally let's do socket dot emit message and then uh, finally let's send in the message so basically what's happening here is that we're sending uh emitting and event call message to the server and then we're sending in a string here as the message okay so what we're going to do in the server is just emit that back to the other clients which are connected so let's go to our server.js here so we're going to listen for an event called message so anytime that a user is connected so io.on connection this callback here is giving us new socket for that newly connected user so in there we can do anything so let's say socket dot on message and basically what that means is anytime this newly connected socket sends an event called message to the server we're going to run this call back here okay so let's do function and inside of it let's do log now what we want to log is message and uh, we're just going to append it to the message that has been sent okay so of course here the message will be given in the callback as well Okay, so let's do socket dot broadcast. So each socket has this um, property called broadcast and dot emit. So if you just do a socket dot emit, you're emitting to every user, including the socket itself. But um, if you do socket dot broadcast dot emit, what you're doing is you're just sending to the other connected clients. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to send a broadcast a event call message to the other clients except this socket okay because it doesn't make sense to send the event back to yourself so let's do message and then um, we send message back to the other clients okay so this will become clear in a moment so on the clients themselves here let's listen for the message event so let's do socket dot on message and uh, what do we want to listen for is the message event because anytime another client has sent a message to the server it is sent back to all the other connected clients so let's do a messages list dot append just copy that quickly here and um since it's being sent a message 
we're just going to append that to the list of messages okay but before um we do that we need to restart our node.js server so that that comes into effect as you can see after starting the node.js server um, both clients are connected now that is the firefox client and then the chrome client as well okay so what we're going to do is let's send a message from this firefox client here and see if it appears here so i'll just do hello chrome client and i'll just do a send and it says cannot post index.html so i'll just refresh that because it seems like um the event handlers on the form didn't come into effect so i'll just resend that so i'll send as you can see it says help message hello chrome client um that's what's sent from this firefox client to this chrome client here now let me send to say hi firefox i'll just send it by just clicking on send as you can see it appears on the firefox client here as well okay so um we've completed sending our first chat message so in the next video let's see how we can store the messages on the database because anytime now that we refresh this we lose all the messages that are on the server and likewise for this chrome client as well okay and i thank you for watching i will see you soon in another video cheers bye bye